Hello and welcome to another FS19 mod review. So what we've got here today are the 8030 John Deere's, version 3 of them. Well they have been re-textured with the new UDIM textures this time. And had a few extras put in them. So we've got two versions of this tractor. The 8130, 8230, 8330, 530 all have the old style IC on them. The 8430 on duels over there has the new type mouse control on it. So there's two versions in the shop to choose from, depending on what you're using with them. So of course play ready and not. So starting here we have the basic 8130 as it comes. No extras put on it, so this is as it appears in the shop. Nicely detailed mods. All the detail in the engine there. The fan does move once started. This is on Trelleborg standard tyres. does have a rear number plate. Okay, so there's a little bit of issue with the axle there but nothing you're going to see if you're using it. It does look a nice mod. So moving across to the 8230 this is where we started to put some extras on them. So Trelleborg TM 3000s with front fenders and a full set of front weights along with Green Star. The 8330 has the John Deere block weight, Goodyear tyres, wide vehicle markers, front extra front work lights, air horns, cab roof lights, green star, and we can see still nice mod, and the wheels are still attached, so all going well so far. So this one has wheel lights as well. Coming to, oh and CB radio in there, I nearly forgot that bit, so you can add that as an extra. Now this 8430 is the mouse control one, which we'll have a look at before we go into the 8430. So we've got dual wheels on this, front hitch, grill mounted front lights, extra front work lights up the top there. Different style of wide load marker, CB radio, terminals in the cab, green star, and dual wheels obviously. So a nice looking tractor. We've also got the extra work lights on the top of the cab roof side there. So hopping into this tractor, the steering column comes down. Now mouse control probably isn't going to work for me because I have um, changed controls around on my uh, key bindings. So we'll just have to try it and see what I can do. So left shift, left control, K and M. I've got to try remember what I've put them to on the joystick. So that's the door. J and N, if I can remember which buttons they are. So I have actually removed them all. There we go, I can see what it's doing now. Opens and closes the bonnet. And that must mean left shift, left control. J and N does the back window. Nope, that's the door. Let's try that again. K and M. There we go. K and M is the back window. So you've still got it there. Not keen on the John Deere decal in the front window, as you can see. It's uh, not quite gone according to plan there as it's gone in. Needs a bit of adjustment still. One on the back is okay. So hopping out of this tractor now. Notice I've not started one up yet for a reason. 
we've got the 8530. Now I haven't put on any of these the on the move wheel pressure adjustment or RDA system. So this one we've got the front work lights moved onto the front linkage out of the grille. Extra top lights on the cab, top work lights on the cab, green star twin beacons, extra rear lights, CB radio, GPS fitted, and also Michelin Megabib tires. So hopping into this one as we get in here. This is one with the old style IC. So we can do the steering column, the door, and the back window. And of course, the other one there, the bonnet. Which if we get out, we can just have a good look under there and look at the detail. It's a really nice job under there. All the detailing, hoses, pipes, a really nice job with that. So I've got a whole list here of things what have been done to this tractor. Of course we've got sun visor as well up there. So we've also got chrome exhaust on this tractor. New exhaust effects, there's sticker combinations. Uh, that one also has a number plate on the exhaust. We have wide rear fenders on these two, this end as well. I'll show you some of the other configurations in the shop. We've got working seat suspension on these tractors now. Pedals are animated. So. Joystick is animated there. Right, now we know before it had what sound like gear change sounds on these tractors. You can hear that's now been fixed and we've got slightly different sounds on here. So this is a nice sound of the tractor, we've got a bit of a Hint of the smoke now coming out of it. So, light wise, we can do this. Come down here, we've got front and rear and top. All the rear work lights and all the front work lights, along with beacons and indicators. So they all work as they should do. So let's give this the uh, trailer test on the Bailey trailer this time. That all hooks up down low. All the hoses connect up. So no issues there. We have to use the six ferro plow on this, as it's the biggest mounted one I've got. It's also the one we use for most tests. Let's try it on the in-game bale trailer as well. That hooks up to high point. All the hoses go in with that. Let's move that over as well. So we have got a clevis on the front of the tractor as well. Whether that will actually work as a hook point, we'll find out. Anyway, so we can get to the front way there without hitting the plow too hard. So that hooks on okay. This 
he'll just do the last little bit up here by the looks of it. We haven't got too much left on this one now. That sounds a lot better now. So that fix has really worked with the sounds. Now it's staying in the ground okay. I think we've uh, got a nice tractor here. See the suspension's all uh, working on the seat there and with the front axle, as it should do. You see the fan spinning in the engine there as well. Done a really nice job with this. Itself there. That's supposed to have been sorted for real dirt colour mod as well. I've not got that installed to try it. So it's by the same mod as the 7030. So hopefully you might transfer these sounds across to that one. Because we know they've also got the same issues sound wise. Nice track to this one. Let's have a look in the shop and see what we've got then. So, understandably, under large tractors, we've got the two versions the one with mouse control, which is the 8430, and the IC ones. So, they're both the same in what features they've got. So, what we've got configuration standard 1100 wafer whites, 1100 block white and front linkage trailer Borg standard with wheel whites TM3000 with whites reverse front tires the variable tire pressure system again with the reverse tires twin rear wheels with narrows oh dear um, that doesn't quite look uh, like it's meant to happen Um, yeah, let's try that again and just see if that was a uh, fluke, shall we? Um, yes, I'm actually tempted to lease that one in a few minutes and see what happens there. Curd itself by the time we got to twin rear wheels, twin wheels all round. Michelin. Standard with wheel whites, Mac bib with whites, and reverse front tar with the RDA system and reverse tars, Serex bib with whites as well, and reversed front Me mega bibs with whites, twin rears as narrows, twin wides, twin all round. Back to standard, then we've just got Goodyear and with whites. So you've just got two options there. Not a big fan of that tire option personally. Design is standard, various logos we can put on the tractor. Which I know to us over here in the UK, those names aren't going to miss too much. Or mean too much to us, rather. With terminals, with GPS, with both. Yes or no to GPS. 
IC buttons yes or no fenders front also extends the back ones cab work lights front rear all exhaust standard or chrome if we put the front linkage on we gain a work light configuration for in the grill or on the front linkage there number plates on exhaust on grill on grill two or none John Deere accessories stickers Deere on bonnet Deere stickers on bonnet there or full warning signs none type 1 type 2 type 3 or none special extras air horns top lights or full CB radio yes or no Engine sap 81, 82, 83, 84, 8530 and 8530 chipped. And they're all capable of 50k. So let's um, see what happens, shall we? Don't know if I dare look. So there's a slight configuration issue with the um, with that particular option. Also knows when things go wrong with a uh, mod review. I think there's a slight uh, issue that he needs to sort with this. Someone's laid an egg for a wheel there. So one issue with one wheel configuration. What we might need looking at. Other than that, it's a very, very good um, mod. So that's where we're going to be leaving this review. I, say, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.